Um, one thing that trips us up is, is, is in our Western mindset, we're so cognitive. And so when I say the power of the present moment, people want the power of the present moment program. In other words, yeah, I'll practice the power of the present moment, but is there like a, are there like five steps, you know? <laughs> so I can, and it's like we, it's like something we, ha it's like we're being tested on the present moment. And we, we haven't let ourselves, we haven't given ourselves the permission to let go of that need to control this power of the present moment. Just let it be, just to savor it. And one of the gifts of that is the freedom. That's why the dance with the manatees in my life was so extraordinary, because it took my need for controlling the present moment away. It enabled me simply just to be, to breathe, to laugh. I would even argue theologically to pray. What I was doing in that dance was simply prayer because I was being wholeheartedly present. And that's the remarkable thing about the power of the present moment is the gift of that. And one of the things I invite people to do is at the end of whatever it is with your day, and if it's somebody you know well, these are the questions you ask. Where, where, where did you find yourself fully alive today? Or whatever it is with the person, you know? Where did you laugh, cry, tell stories, hear stories? Where did you see something you didn't expect to see? Where did, you, where did you see the gift of somebody connecting with another person? Where did you see the gift of you being made uh, alive and well? And so the power of the present moment is that it's, it's there. We don't, we don't bring the power to it. We don't invest, it's there. We, we make ourselves available to it.